Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Simon King. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the best export settings for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and your Twitter videos. So firstly, I would like us to talk about YouTube. Now, the best export settings for YouTube is 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to go ahead and assume right here that you finished editing your video and your timeline and you're ready to export. So to export your video, you go ahead, you click on File, scroll down to export and then you click export media alternatively you can just hit ctrl m to reach this spot over here now your best option will be to come over to your format you leave your format at h.2s4 for your presets now if you come down you you will take note that the estimated file size here is 9 mb but i would like us to go over to preset here and select scroll down to a YouTube preset that is available for us. So we'll go down to YouTube 1080 Full HD. And automatically you will notice that the file size has increased from 9 MB to 15 MB. So what this does is it creates a better room for us to have high resolution in our videos. Bear in mind that when we upload our videos on YouTube, YouTube shrinks our videos down. So no matter the quality you give to YouTube, YouTube is going to cut it into half. So it's better you bear that in mind. So uploading this video at 15 MB indicates that YouTube is going to cut it down to half of that, which is still going to give us the original quality that we had, which was 9 MB or thereabout. So the next thing you want to do is to select use maximum render quality. You select use previews. So this will render it at a maximum depth. And then you go ahead and click on your export and it will export this video to the best settings for youtube so the next thing i want to talk about is the best export settings for facebook twitter and instagram so let's go ahead and dive right into our facebook and twitter so the good thing here is that facebook twitter and instagram has the same size or the same frame size that we can use for either of them so what you want to do is to create a new sequence so you've created this video to be this frame size but we know that instagram facebook and twitter goes with a one-to-one -one ratio or a ratio that looks more cube or square shape in dimension so you come over here you select your clip or you if you have multiple clips you select all of them highlight them you drag them onto this icon over here once you do that you will notice a new sequence has been created here so you double tap on that new sequence and automatically a new sequence Will be created here for you so now that you've created this you move up to file new sequence to change the sequence to fit what you're trying to do now you come over to settings here and under your settings you change the frame size from 1920 to 1080 which is perfect for youtube change it to 1080 by 1350 so i'll go ahead and do that And then I'll click on OK. And automatically, you will notice that a sequence has been created here, which has changed the size of our clip over here. So you can decide to go back, come back over here, come back to the previous sequence, select this, and copy your clip. Then come over to the new sequence that you have created and paste your clip. And paste your clip now what you will notice is that the clip is probably not properly aligned so you want to come over to your scale property here and increase the scale to fit the new dimension then move the position to whatever angle you want it to be so this is the perfect frame size now for facebook twitter or instagram so to go ahead and export our video you go over to file go over to export media or control m so for your instagram twitter and facebook all you need to do is to leave the format at h.2s4 if it's not on h.2s4 you want to select the format and search for h.2s4 on your preset you want to leave it as match source high bitrate so we have already worked on the dimension here you don't need to select any other presets 
Of course, you want to select your location where you want to keep your clip. I prefer to keep my clip on the desktop because it's easier for me to locate it at any time. Give it a name you want. For example, I might decide to save this at Instagram export or Facebook export or Twitter export. Then hit on save and automatically it would save in that location. But don't forget, I always prefer to select my use maximum render quality and use preview so I know that I'm getting the best settings for that particular clip. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the best export settings for Instagram stories. So what you would like to do now is to go over to file, click on new sequence, go over to your sequence settings, and instead of 1920 by 1080, you want to make it 1080 by 1920. by 1920 and automatically you see that we have created a new sequence now this sequence is longer than the previous sequence that is the shape of instagram stories you can see the shape for the normal instagram facebook and twitter but you can see this it is way longer so what you would like to do is the same thing just come over here select this clip copy it Go over to your new sequence for your Instagram story and you can paste your clip over here. You will also want to bear in mind the time interval for Instagram stories. Maybe it's 15 seconds or 30 seconds. Bear that in mind and trim the length of your video to match the length of Instagram stories. Select on the video over here. Increase the scale to take the dimension and then change the position to match where your sequence, your clip is. So you want to adjust it, whatever composition you have there, you want to make the subject at the center of your clip. So once you have achieved this, you will notice that this is longer than the other clips that we have. And this is the perfect size for Instagram stories or your YouTube shots. So what you want to do next is to select file, exports media so right now the frame size is fine you can see that we have our subject at the center you can see that we've framed the scale of our clip now and the position to fit the size of our instagram stories this is the same dimension for your youtube shots leave your format at h.264 your preset you want to leave it at high bitrate and then you just change your output name select your location where you want it to be saved. I prefer desktop once again. Select the name to either be my YouTube shorts or my Instagram stories. Then finally, I can just go ahead and make sure that I have selected the use maximum render quality and the use previews. Once that is done, I hit on my export and then I have my clips exported to the different frame size that I want them to be. So that is it on how to export videos to the different frame size that fits the description of our videos. So it's important that you get the right dimensions for your Facebook, YouTube, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Stories, Twitter, and Facebook. Because knowing these export settings has become essential to growing an Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, or your YouTube page. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not already done that. And don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section.